hi guys welcome back to my channel if today is the first time you're coming across this channel you're very welcome this is okay now the kitchen in this channel we talk about food 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 especially nigerian food i love food so much and i think you do today i'm going to show you guys how to make nigerian pancake I love this. This is one of the things I used for my breakfast growing up. It's just very, very, very simple thing to make in the morning for breakfast. Mainly we use it. You can eat it some other time anyway. But in my house, we mainly use it for breakfast. These are all the ingredients which I will leave the list of it in the description box below. Let's go into the business of how to do this Nigerian pack. I'm using milk. What I did was to pour the milk in a bowl. I'm using about three eggs. You can use more than three eggs depending on the quantity of pancake you want to make. But for the quantity I'm making this morning, I'm just I'm using just three eggs. I broke the egg inside the milk. The next thing to do is to stir it, turn it. I don't know. I don't have nothing here in my house. I don't even have hand mix or nothing. I'm using a toner, but I promise this toner is going to do a good and great job. Let's go into it, guys. When you see that the egg has been very well mixed together with the milk, it's time for you to add the dry ingredients. The first thing I added there was sugar. I also added just a little bit of salt. I don't like eating salt, but for the sake of this recipe, I just added a little salt to bring down the taste of the sugar. Then I added scotch bonnet pepper because I needed it to be a bit pepperish, but if you're the kind that don't like pepper, you can avoid pepper. And I added a full teaspoon of baking powder. At this time also, you can add your flour. I'm using plain flour. You wouldn't want to eat a very thick pancake. No, it's not good when it is very thick. So you need to add more liquid. I added more milk. You can also add water into it just to make it look a bit liquid, not too thick. Except you are the kind that like a thick pancake or you want to make it to be very thick but in this case i wouldn't want it to be very thick that's why i'm adding more liquid i told you guys that my wooden stick my toner is going to do a great job yeah you can see how smooth this look almost ready for fry The pancake mix is ready now it is time for frying I have a pan already heated in the fire I just drop a little oil on the pan trying to use the oil to go rub it around the pan if you have brush I think it's better 
to use brush and the mix i made the pancake i turn it to another bowl that we make it very easy for me to pour it in the pan after about 10 minutes i then flipped it over when you see all those small small holes on top that's a sign that is ready to be flipped then you just flip it over remember you're going to do it in a very low heat not high heat because if you do it in a high heat it might burn I wasn't patient at all, I was flipping it over and over and over. The first one is ready. So this is the first pancake, we are going for the second one now. Let's just repeat the process once again. Yes guys, this is the end result of our pancake. I was able to make four delicious pancakes. Simple recipe but very delicious. If you love what you see, please remember to share my video with your friends and don't forget to show me love by subscribing. Thanks a lot for watching. See you guys in my next video. Ciao ciao.